Today I want to show you how to install and use the EZ Spoiler plugin. It's especially useful to create a frequently asked questions page or any other page where you have headings, answers, headings, answers, subparagraphs such as that to make your page cleaner. You'll see that we're in the WordPress dashboard and we're on the plugins page. And now we're going to add a new plugin. We know what the name of it is, so we can just type it in the search box here. This is a free plugin from the WordPress.org collection. Here it is. Now we always, always, always click on details so that we can confirm that this plugin is updated to the correct version of WordPress. And here it says compatible up to 3.5.1, which is the version we have. So now we can click the red bar and install it. And now we'll activate. In order to use the Easy Spoiler plugin, we have to go to Settings find the easy spoiler and there's some little tweaks we want to make to the setup so that our page looks the way we want it to look. And here I'm going to use the word click for answer to open. It could say more, it could say just answer, it could say whatever you want to put in this. This is what your reader is going to see on the page before they open the container. Then there's some places here where you can make buttons if you want to use buttons to show or hide. In our case we're just going to click on the word to open and close the spoiler so we don't need any of these items. Animations is just how it closed, opens and closes. The Reader Content Select button right here would be used if you had spoilers inside spoilers. In other words, if you had choose a color and that opened to a drop down that had three colors and then they had to choose a select button, spoiler inside a spoiler but we're just doing a simple question and answer right now. This editor buttons here is where we add the helper buttons to the HTML or text editor. That just gives you a one-click place to insert the spoiler. I prefer to just type in the box, but since most of the users are not familiar with HTML, this helper button is a very big help. Now, this also confirms that we're not using open and close buttons. We're going to click on the title to operate our spoiler. You could click this if you want the title in bold font. Uh, we don't. We're going to use color to emphasize the title. Here is the size of the font for what appears, what your, what your reader looks at and the default was 120 which is a little larger than my regular page font so I'm going to cut that back to 100. And this says render the title text using the WordPress theme color. And We also have a block down below in which we get to choose colors so I'm going to uncheck that box. Allowing wrapping if you have a very long sentence in your title, this allows it to wrap around and make a short paragraph of your opener. Embedding short codes, if you are familiar with and need to use short codes, you can actually put a short code inside the title. Now here is the area I was referring to that where you can add colors. We're going to use the colors that we specify here the container or the frame that your 
click here for answer is driven by whatever color you put in this cell. Now right now I have it set on white. We could just as well, let's see, let's um, let's choose a blue shade for that. Hmm, okay, it didn't change. Ah, I have to move the little dot. There we go. Okay, down here is the color of the text that's going to be in that box. And this is the spoiler title text, which is bright blue. And I think I want to change that to black as well. Now down here, we get to choose the button style. There's a default button, a flat button, and a no styling button. I'm going to take a look at flat because I want to have a borderless link style button. Now some themes will show it without a border, some will not. I'm not even sure how it's going to perform in this theme, so we're just going to take a look at it. Now we're going to save the settings. Now I'm going to show you how to insert the spoiler into a post. Here I have a post in draft form. It's actually titled Three Top Reasons to Use Easy Spoiler. And Easy Spoiler, in this case, we're going to use it to provide answers to questions. So I prepared some questions and answers. Out my practice cycle here. And the first question is, what does DMC stand for? So I want to put the answer to that in a spoiler container. Here is the spoiler button on the edit bar, like we talked about when we set it up. When we click that button, it puts the word spoiler in brackets before and end spoiler in brackets after. That's a very simple HTML for enclosing that answer in a spoiler box. Now, here's another answer. So we can push the button again, and it encloses it. Now I'm going to do one just by typing in the same information. And at the end of it, we put in the end bracket. And you will see when we go to preview the post that they all work just the same whether you use the button or type in the brackets. Here's another one that we're going to enclose. Oops, come back here, screen. Here's another answer. Quick spoiler again. Another answer. Does DMC have any free training? Here's another answer. Click on this link to register. How can I find out more about DMC? So we insert a spoiler there. And then we have what a current member is saying. And this spoiler is going to enclose, enclose several paragraphs, which is perfectly possible to do. Just keep running your highlight down. 
to get to the bottom of it. Oh, come back here. And then we hit the spoiler button again. Now let's save the draft. Preview the post and see what our containers and buttons look like. Okay. Ah, see, when I typed it in, I did it wrong. I had the squiggly one instead of the square one, so it didn't make the bar. The one I did with the button was correct. And if you click here, it reveals the answer. So now, we have to go back to Edit Post and fix that one. Yep, there's the offender. draft preview once again to make sure our fix worked. Now you will want to play with the buttons and the adjustments inside to tailor your answers, tailor your spoiler for the way you want it to appear on your page. And that ends the video for the training. Now I'm going to go back and finish my post.